of the Empire State Building. C100. All right, so uh, in studio today, uh, they had a song last year called I Want to Know, which was honestly one of my favorite songs of 2018. It was just like straight fire. So it got noted in studio and Georgia Koo. Hey, Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Yo. So uh, you guys are, uh, you guys have been really busy the last couple of couple of days or weeks yeah, actually, right? Yeah, I mean, You've been, it's I was been like, a lot. Yeah, I was going through your uh, like your Instagram. I was Instagram stalking you. You guys were doing Miami. Yeah, you guys yeah. were in LA. You guys were here like a month ago. Like, yeah, it's been much later, but it's yeah. fun I to mean, just it's, travel. It's fun at the same time. It's like we do what we love, so it's just it's amazing to be like working with it. So totally, yeah. totally. Although sleeping is nice too. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Cool, cool, cool. You guys, uh, you guys got this new song, all three of you. Uh, so close, yeah, which right. is so dope. <laughs> uh, Thank it's you. Just, like, it's just got so like this, much. like the words. I'm listening to the words. I'm like, man, it's kind of like a sad, like sad words. But like the beat just kind of makes you feel good. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's bittersweet. Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> so let's like kind of, for people who like don't know you guys, like kind of like just give us some background. Like, you know, how'd you guys start? I know you guys like have known each other for, for a while. So Sam actually messaged me on Facebook because he found my stuff on SoundCloud. And we started talking a bit and we made some remixes together because he came with the like ideas like, should we do a remix of this and that? And I was like, okay, let's do it. And it worked out okay. like, pretty well. So we was like, okay, let's do it. And we created Node. And yeah, from there, we just did a bunch of stuff, started with remixes, started making originals, and it seemed to work out. So and now, it's super fun. And now you guys are dressed in very cool jackets. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Where'd you guys get those? Urban uh, Outfitters. Yeah, actually. Urban Outfitters. Oh, dude, they Urban have. Outfitters has everything. Yeah, yeah it's it's so they so are the best. You get yours from Urban Outfitters too? No, mine's from this brand called Collision. It's okay. a UK brand. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. It's really cool. It looks, it looks shiny and nice. I know. I like <laughs> I can't it. go anywhere without making so much noise though. Oh, oh yeah, I know. It's like <laughs> squishy probably <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Yeah. By the way, this is this has nothing to do with this. I'm like very ADD. I just kind of. But um, your nose ring, mm -hmm. I just got one, and I'm having issues, uh -huh. like. You got a ring? Yeah, I got a nose piercing. Uh -huh. And I want to get a hoop, you but can't. I'm having issues. Like, I got like a bump on here. How, do you know how to get you did you issues? How long have you had it pierced? Like a month. Yeah, you have to wait until it heals because the scar tissue, like, you can't put an, um, you have to wait a while before you put an actual ring on it. Oh, really? Put a ring on it. You know what I'm <laughs> um, but, like, you put a ring in it, then you can't, then you have to, like, you have to wait for it to really heal. Okay. Um, Before you do it. So I would, like, just wait until it's really, really healed and then do it. Okay. Because, I don't know, it'll probably make it worse, and then it'll start the healing process all over again. Okay. Yeah. So this is a mess. I know. <laughs> it's so annoying because, like, the, the, the rings look so much better, and you yeah. kind of, like, don't want to do the whole stud thing, but you just have to ride the wave. Oh, okay. All right. That was <laughs> totally random and totally <laughs> off topic, <laughs> but I just saw it, and I'm like, I got to ask. Um, cool. So um, so you guys, when you, when you guys met, I know you guys have done, like, a lot of remixes and stuff, yeah. too. Um, how... Explain like, because I'm still like f not really familiar with like SoundCloud and like yeah, yeah. how that like how does somebody just become successful on SoundCloud? Is it like you just put the songs out and it just all of a sudden people just start listening to it, or do you like promote it? Like how does that work? Because like SoundCloud rappers, same thing. Like everybody knows those yeah. people. I don't know. I, if, for me, it was like I just made like songs in my bedroom, and immediately when I was like finished, I just put it out on SoundCloud. And I, I, I mean, I didn't do like a bunch of promotion, but I tried my best and like. I added like friends on Facebook that I knew also had SoundCloud and like, can you share this one? And yeah, I, I was like trying my best and it worked out pretty, yeah. pretty cool, good. Cool, cool. And then we got like for note that I know when we got our remixes going and we got the opportunities because we were like looking for every dream, everything, just trying to make the best remixes possible. Right. And then that just seemed to work out. And then remix requests started coming to us and we deliver there as well and then we got some top lines going and we made some new songs and yeah stuff happened yeah it's stuff happened cool yeah. cool cool. now you're traveling the world yeah you guys are originally from sweden right yeah exactly. that's right cool 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 i um is ikea really like that intense over there yeah is that like the place yeah. so i mean ikea is actually from my hometown yeah oh no I'm way from, like it's a small little city in southern sweden no way so, Okay, That's so it was either this or work at Ikea. Yeah, I mean, exactly. that's pretty much what it was. One or the other, you know? Yeah. I was going to interview, um, I was thinking about, like, you know what, I just bought this dresser from Ikea. I'm like, maybe yeah. I should, like, bring it in. Maybe they could, like, help me put it together <laughs> because I couldn't figure it out. They got to figure out the directions. Yeah, Like, yeah, yeah. it's just, like, this big piece of paper with a bunch of just 
arrows and stuff. I'm like, I got nothing. So I just hire people to build it for me. I was like, forget it. <laughs> but uh, cool, cool. So you guys have done, um, I know you guys have done a lot of remixes, but like how th- this new single, um, So Close, which is, it's a really dope track. I know you guys performed it uh, last week at our one of our music summits for iHeart yeah, Radio. Exactly. Um, I, how did you guys like kind of form all together? Do you guys like network or how, how does that like, how do you guys pretty much? Um, well, I um, wrote this song with um, Captain Cuts and Felix Jean in LA. Okay. Um, and then Felix actually sent it over to Noted and they took it to the next level um, and made it what it is today. Um, and then we released it, but we didn't yeah. actually meet until we, um, we like, we were, we were rehearsing for, yeah. 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 Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but it's crazy. just crazy because 2019, like everything is so remote, yeah. you know? And it was just great that like, what, how many people, four different collaborators were able to be on one song from all different parts of the world. Yeah. So. yeah. It's so crazy how people like record music nowadays too. Cause I, was, I remember <laughs> yeah. like Charlie Puth was saying he recorded some songs in like his closet. Like yeah. I'm like, God, you could do it anywhere. <laughs> yeah. You could literally, you could be on the subway and record something if exactly. you want. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Very cool. So what's, what, what do you guys have kind of planned for, for 2019? Are you guys going to be like doing some tours together? Or like, like what, what's going on? Uh, we have a single coming out uh, early May. Um, and we're, we're super excited about that. It's uh, with a guy called Harvey from UK. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's a really special song for uh, for us, and we had it for a long time, and now we're like super excited to yeah. have it out. We're also working on our touring, or not touring, but to play shows and stuff like that. So we're trying to build up our set to just like we're both instrumentalists as well. So we're gonna like include that in our live set with DJing and then playing some guitars and stuff like that. Very cool. It's, Very it's, yeah. it's exciting. You guys have like. When you guys are up on stage, I mean, you guys got to have like crazy pyro yeah. and all that stuff. That'd be so cool. You know, just go nuts. Like there's, um, so there's this place here in New York. If you guys ever get to perform at Marquee, um, which is, uh, it's kind of down the road, but it's really, really dope. And it is intense. Like it's a really cool atmosphere, but like, it, it's just so cool what they can do. I'm like, it's like a small little intimate area too, but like, I, I can see you guys like performing on there. Don't they have just, one in Vegas? Is it they might. I bet, I, there's got to be more than one marquee for sure. <laughs> yeah. But this one's like, it's just cool. It's like smaller, but like, there's so many people though. Like, you're literally like this, just walking through the crowd. Oh my gosh. You yeah, know? let's aim for it. Yeah, we yeah. we hope to do yeah. like more stuff and just more promo stuff as well. And then I have um, my first single coming out as well this year, hopefully. Hey. <laughs> um. So yeah, should be fun. Very cool. Very cool. Georgia Koo. Yeah. Wonka. How many? Okay. With your guys' names, I'm yeah. sure everybody has said everything when it comes down to your names, yeah. right? Like, yeah. N-O-T-D in the <laughs> house. Oh, I got Georgia, Georgia- Foo. Yeah, <laughs> Foo. I got introduced as Georgia Foo last week. Yeah. Georgia, we got uh, uh, Florida in the studio with us <laughs> right now. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Well, very cool. So you guys uh, you guys are obviously really busy. What you guys? Um, how long are you in New York? Uh, Until tonight. Yeah. Oh, for really? Boston yeah. Tonight. Okay. Yeah. So you really don't got time to uh, explore or anything, or have you been here for a couple of days? Yeah, we've been here before as well. Yeah. Our fourth time. Yeah. Okay. Like that. A couple of days, but we've like had back to back like radio stuff as yeah. well. So. Yeah. This is like nonstop. Yeah. Can't do any like fun. touristy things or <laughs> exactly. you know, go to Times Square and <laughs> get a photo there so you can like <laughs> you know post a couple months later take me back <laughs> <laughs> take me you, know, you gotta get your take me back photo I mean, come oh on. i think i just posted one of those last did week you really oh, yeah, one of those definitely. Those. yeah are you guys gonna... all, are you also like the person who like has the selfie and like has an inspirational quote that has nothing to do with the selfie i don't i'm not quite one of those people. okay okay yeah. 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 <laughs> okay we got maybe maybe one day yeah you know, just like day. you know what we'll let's get go there. for it yeah. <laughs> Cool, cool. Well, you guys, thank you so much for coming through. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having us. So close. Make sure you stream it, download yeah. it, whatever you got to do. It, it's a really dope track. Thank so. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so awesome much. guy. From the top of the Empire State Building. B100.